For centuries, the ancient Silk Road was the link between East and West, the conduit of trade, ideas and culture. Its existence was totally dependent on oasis towns like Dong Huan on the edge of the Gobi Desert. But after surviving for so long, this fragile environment is now facing the ultimate threat. The water that comes trickling down from the glaciers is drying up. For the first time, Chinese authorities have allowed a foreign film crew to travel to the northern side of the Qinghai Tibetan Plateau to see the extent of the damage. <music> Professor Ching Xiang, one of China's leading glaciologists, will be taking us there. On the way, Professor Chin shows us how water from the glaciers has been harnessed into an extensive irrigation system that sustains a population of 5 million in what's known as the Hershey Corridor. But the glacier melt means the desert will eventually reclaim this land. At about 4,000 metres, we're on the edge of the plateau. Temperatures have plummeted and oxygen is sparser as we head further into the Chilean mountains. So we're almost at Tiger Valley. There's 44 glaciers there and it's part of the third pole. Now the third pole is the source of Asia's 10 biggest rivers and it supports 1.5 billion people and it's seriously under threat. Then at Shurbai village, the last before we hit the plateau, evidence of the devastation of climate change, extreme weather. In 2012, raging torrents of water, rocks and mud swept down from the mountains and destroyed much of the village. Most of the residents have been relocated, perhaps the first of many more climate change refugees to come. The research undertaken at this remote station is one of the best indicators of the current status of the third pole. It was also the first to open in China in 1958, so it has a long history of data. <laughs> Professor Chin takes us to the biggest glacier in the valley, number 12, or Mongke. And the big melt is on. For the past decade, Professor Chin has been documenting the glacier's retreat, and it's been unprecedented. Since 2005, the rate at which it is melting has almost doubled. So the news is not good. 
the research they've compiled found that 509 smaller glaciers have disappeared from the Chilean mountains in the last 50 years. Now they fear some of the bigger glaciers will dramatically shrink or vanish in the next 50 years. And the results of that will be catastrophic. The reason, the temperature has been increasing at a much faster rate up at the Qinghai Tibetan Plateau. Uh,重建的这个数据表明就是在过去五十多年,整个在我们这个研究区,嗯,气温增,增加了将近一点五摄氏度,就是在过去五十多年,而且这个数据远远高于这个全国平均的这个,呃,增温的过去五十多年,增